We're going to Dublin. Guinness, U2, River Liffey, blah blah blah. But Dublin, see, it's the kind of town that gets under your skin. It's a city steeped in history. More writers than you can shake a shillelagh at. Did you know it's over 1,000 years old? Vikings, revolutions, pints pulled to perfection. This city's seen it all. Forget the tourist traps, the stage shenanigans. We're diving deep into the belly of the beast. We're talking gritty pubs with souls stained by whiskey and laughter, back alleys echoing with stories whispered from generations past. So grab a pint, pull up a stool, and let's get after it. Most folks don't think beach when they think Dublin, but they damn well should. Just a stone's throw from the city center stretches a coastline that'll steal your breath faster than a bar brawl in Temple Bar. Golden sands, rugged cliffs, the Irish sea crashing against the shore, it's enough to make you want to grab a bottle of Jameson and wander off for a week. This is the raw, untamed beauty of Ireland, where the wind whispers tales of smugglers and saints. Forget the bangers and mash, the tourist traps peddling watered-down stew. We're going deep into the heart of Dublin's culinary underbelly, where the food tells a story. From the humble coddle to the hearty Irish stew, each bite is a love letter to this city. This is food that sticks to your ribs, warms you from the inside out. The streets of Dublin are a living, breathing organism, a symphony of buskers and street vendors, their melodies and laughter echoing off the centuries-old buildings. This is a city best explored on foot, with open eyes and an empty stomach. Every city has its secrets, its ghosts. In Dublin, those ghosts reside within the imposing walls of Kilmainham Jail. This is a place where history seeps from the very stones. Walk these cell blocks, stand in the courtyard where so many met their end, and you'll feel the weight of history pressing down on you. It's a sobering experience, a stark reminder of the price of freedom. You can't swing a dead cat in Dublin without hitting a pub with live music spilling out its doors. Music is in the very DNA of this city, woven into its fabric like the threads of a well-worn Aaron sweater. We're talking about the real deal, smoky back rooms where the music hits you like a shot of good Irish whiskey. We'll find the hidden gems, the places where the locals go to escape the tourist hordes. Forget your sterile supermarkets and your fancy boutiques. If you want to see the real heart of Dublin, get yourself down to Moore Street Market. This is where generations of Dubliners have come to haggle, to gossip, to soak up the sights, sounds, and smells of the city. We'll chat with the locals, sample the wares, and maybe even pick up a souvenir or two. Even a city as vibrant as Dublin needs its moments of tranquility, and there's no better place to find it than in the heart of St. Stephen's Green. This sprawling park is an oasis of calm amidst the urban chaos. We'll stroll along its winding paths, watch children chase pigeons, and maybe even steal a kiss under the shade of a willow tree. Dublin knows how to throw a party. From the raucous revelry of St. Patrick's Day to the more refined celebrations of the Dublin Theatre Festival, there's always something going on in this city. We'll drink Guinness with the locals, tap our feet to traditional music, and maybe even learn a few Irish dance steps. This is Dublin at its most vibrant, its most alive. Tucked away in the heart of Dublin Castle lies a hidden gem, the Chester Beatty Library. This place is a treasure trove of ancient manuscripts, rare books and artifacts from around the world. We'll wander through its hallowed halls, marvel at the beauty of these ancient objects, and maybe even learn a thing or two about the world's lost civilizations. As the sun begins its slow descent, casting long shadows across the city, we find ourselves drawn to the banks of the River Liffey. The water shimmers like molten gold, reflecting the fading light in a thousand different hues. We'll raise a glass to this city, to its beauty, its chaos, its undeniable charm. So that's Dublin, a city that gets under your skin, that stays with you long after you've said goodbye. We've drunk its whiskey, tasted its food, and felt the rhythm of its streets. Dublin, you've left us wanting more. And trust me, we'll be back for another taste.